Chef Ben here from in situ. And if you're anything like me, when you have guests over, they're looking for something extra special to feed them in the morning, to give energy all day. So we at in situ wanted to bring you one of our favorite recipes that's easy to make and you probably already have the ingredients at home. So the first ingredient you need is actually water. We care a lot about water and it's quite important at the beginning of the dish. So in order to make sure we have the best water out there, we like to use our Aquatrol 600 to ensure the water quality is exactly what we need. In order to do that, we take the Aquatrol out, flip it around, and get it into deployment mode. All right, so from here, we can go ahead and put this in the, in the bucket and then pour in our water. Nice, clean, fresh Colorado mountain water. Now, one of the things I always like to look at is to say, do we have the right clarity of water? Do we have the right salt in the water? So if we go look at here, we have pretty good temperature, um, fairly clear water, and yeah, fairly low conductivity. So that looks like a good starting point for any key dish. The next thing you need is oatmeal because oatmeal will give you strength for the whole day, provide that energy. So we'll go ahead and just pour that oatmeal in. Now from that, we'd expect the water to get a little turbid. We better see if it's in range or if I need a little bit more oatmeal. All right, looks like the turbidity is going up nicely, getting nice and cloudy, full of oatmeal. Now oatmeal creates a great base, but we always like to get a little bit of salt because without salt, it really just doesn't have the flavor we're looking for. So we're starting out about 131 microsiemens per centimeter. Let's dump, yeah, you know what? That's not enough salt. We really like our salt here at in situ. Bon appetit. All right, so, oh, about 8,000 microsiemens per centimeter. That looks great. Nice and salty and ready for the guests. All right, next ingredient, salted caramel syrup. This will give it that sweet flavor you're looking for and add a little pizzazz into it. Once you get that, give it a nice stir. And then we go with a little bit of honey. I kind of like the way the two flavors balance each other. You got a little bit of caramely sweetness, a little bit of nature sweetness in here. Ooh, adds a little bit of stickiness as well. So that's great. All right. Now, you're really trying to wake up in the morning, so why take the time to actually drink coffee when you could eat coffee? So a few coffee beans go in there and they float right on top. Those will add a little bit of pizzazz and give you a great texture and crunch for the final meal. Now the ingredient that's gonna take this from ordinary to extraordinary is a nice helping of sriracha. This really adds a little more salt content and just gives it that flavor kick that guests will go crazy for. Mmm, that smells wonderful. Now to truly impress your guests and show them how adept you are at using the Aquatrol 600 in cooking, we like to throw in a couple more ingredients that help it stir and really just come together as a soup. So in order to do that, we take off the restrictor. If you notice, one of the things I should have mentioned is there's a nice wiper here. Even when you get the oatmeal and you get the coffee, not a problem, this will wipe it right off. Now, I often get asked, what happens if I want different parameters? What happens if I want to cook something else and measure something else? Well, that's easy with the Aquatrol 600. You can easily just take a sensor out, pop it out here, and then you're able to pop another sensor in and measure whatever you want to measure. Now, when you're cooking with little ones, you know there can be problems in the kitchen. Every once in a while, let's say you're trying to flip a sensor and it falls into the stew, that's not really a problem with the Aquatrol 600. In fact, even if all of your sensors fall into the stew, not a problem. In fact, you can even take the wiper out, hot swappable, toss that in as well. Now if that happens, I would just use it as an opportunity to just stir your soup a little bit more. I think those sensors in there would really just move everything, bring it together, and I think it's only gonna add to the flavor. Now, when you're done stirring, it's not a big deal. We just kinda shake it off a little bit, and then we can start putting it back together to see if it ended up in the place we want it to go. First thing, you take the wiper, built in, you pop it right in this middle, just kinda shake it off, make sure there's no oatmeal in there, and uh, twist it around, and there we are. Wiper's ready to go. All right, then you basically just take, fish out another sensor. Oh, it looks like a pH sensor here. Go ahead and pop that in. Doesn't really matter what port you put it in. Go ahead and twist that wiper out of the way. Nothing's gonna happen. Um, find another sensor. Ooh, conductivity, very important sensor. Good to have that in there. 
We've got a nice feature where everything just clips in together. Oh, uh, turbidity. We can see that one come back together. And then, oh, and then the final one. Mm, this is good. A little bit of hand never hurt the soup. All right, dissolved oxygen. Okay, now that we've got all four of those sensors back together again, you take your little screwdriver, get, just screw them back on. This makes sure that none of the sensors are gonna fall out during deployment. Here we go, almost there. Now let's check if our soup is ready to go. The final thing, oh, there goes the wiper, starting to clean everything off again, is to go ahead and pop that restrictor on and we are ready to test our soup for the final serving. All right, we're mixed together well. Uh, this is looking great. Let me check one more time. Yeah, turbidity, conductivity, uh, everything's looking just where it's supposed to be. Um, now, you can't ever serve this without actually trying it yourself. Every good chef has to try it. So a little bit of soup. And oh, that, that is really good. I encourage you to try this at home and write back to us and let us know how your friends and family enjoy the recipe. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Cooking with Ben. Um, we hope you enjoyed how we use the everyday gadget of the Aquatrol 600 in our kitchen and hope you find plenty of uses in yours. <laughs>